As, as humans, we're actually really good uh, using our bodies to interact with objects. I mean, that's something we, we learned from the earliest age on and that is, that is programmed into our bodies. Now, when we use computers, usually we have to forget all of these things. So we have to learn everything new in order to like move a file or, or do other things. And we want to change that and make it tangible. So we want to have real objects that people interact with and that are linked to the digital information. Connecting our physical world with the digital world sounds futuristic, but turning this radical idea into reality doesn't need to be science fiction. This is the Inform Shape Display, a creation by Sean Fulmer and Daniel Leithinger, two PhD candidates at MIT's Tangible Media Group, led by Hiroshi Ishii. So our, our goal wasn't to build sort of the end-all, be-all, this is what shape-changing user interfaces will be like in the future, but rather something that would allow us to very quickly create new types of ways that people could interact with form that can change its shape. We're able to display any type of 3D data. From robotic movements that can interact with real-world objects, to tactile math equations, to 3D model spaceships. The way it works is, is very much like these pin toys. So you see when I like, you know, press in. So in our case, we needed a lot of motors that were able to drive those pins up and down. 900 pins in all, controlled by 900 individual motors, which in turn are controlled by a computer not so different from how you might program a, a 3D game or any other type of 3D application. What happens is that on the computer we render a 3D model that then gets turned into a 2D grayscale image. The lighter the pixel is, the higher its connected pin will be pushed. The darker the pixel, the lower. In addition to displaying a program model, the Inform system can be remotely controlled by a Microsoft Connect. Which captures sort of the 3D geometry of a person touching the, the display, or in another case, a person captured remotely. That depth image and that color image is being sent over to the table and rendered there physically. This may seem like an elaborate art project, but its creators see it as a practical step towards a larger vision. Our own inspiration comes very much that it should be in a consumer product, because we're frustrated by phones and tablets. I mean, all this stuff looks the same. It's all like glass and pixels. And we think that uh, there's a lot of the principles that you could take from this, like shape change. You could make simpler and you could actually put it into a consumer device and like, make it a lot more interesting. In fact, two students in the Tangible Media Group are experimenting with thin shape changing materials. Using a pneumatic pump, a series of sensors, and interwoven layers of paper, they've created sheets that change instantaneously from soft leather to moldable foam to hard wood. So the idea behind the, the gem sheets uh, project is that when we apply the, the, the pressure on, on it, you increase the friction between those layers, therefore we can uh, stiffen the, the, the shape itself. We sense where you are placing it or how you are holding it, and then we tell the, the pump to pump the air out at a specific time. Seeing this technology's potential, they scaled it up. Well, right now I'm sitting on uh, current research me and Lin are doing. Now, instead of just thinking you want to design a square chair or a round chair, you can choose to design a chair that can transform from a round one to a square one. Without the help of a touchscreen or a graphic interface, just fold it and hold it. And why stop at furniture? When you are walking and you want your shoes very soft, but when you are running, you kind of want your support at your ankle. So you can basically jam it to make the material stiffer, so it gives you a better support. We really believe that digital technology or digital information will seamlessly be embedded into the physical uh, materials and physical interfaces. The way the Tangible Media Group sees it, this digital evolution is already underway. People are already throwing their mouse and keyboard away, and that we're already moving to a state where computing becomes more embedded in the environment around us. And the question is, like, what's, what's the world that we want to live in? Is the world where we have touch screens everywhere and we kind of poke at glass and pixels, or do we want to maintain the richness of interacting with real objects? Think you know what the future of digital interfaces will be? Head over to sciencefriday.com and tell us your idea. For Science Friday, I'm Luke Groskin.